Hi there, my name's Wendy with loveandstampin.com. So excited you're here with me today because we are gonna do a little organizing. Now normally uh, on Fridays I do a crafty video, but Tuesday's kind of my day to share a little bit about my life with you and to share a little bit of crafting possibly. So in today's video you're going to see a huge organization project I took on over the weekend. I actually have a little clip of a little drive my husband and I went on and it gives you a little insight into the geographic area that I live in. It's so beautiful where I live. Um, and then there's a teeny tiny bit of crafting, but not really. <laughs> Basically, we're gonna make our own labels for some cool baskets. Everything I talk about is linked below the video or over on my blog. And if you wanna see before and after photos, they are also listed on my blog. But before I let you go and we get right into all the things from the weekend, I want to tell you that I signed up for this cool thing called 30 Day Reset. And it's by Sarah Randall, it's through Instagram. And there's a link below the video and I got you a code, love, L-U-V, gets you $5 off of her next 30 Day Reset, which starts October 9th. So if you're interested in doing this, I think it would be great because I it's been great for me. So basically she takes you through 30 days of cleaning up your home. Uh, going through your drawers, going through your closet, cleaning up your kitchen, your pantry, all those things. And it's more about like purging and organizing and stuff like that. And it's been wonderful for me. It's also helped me with some of the blues that I've had because of the smoke and the the dreary skies, it's given me something else fun to focus on. So um, yeah, if you want to sign up for it, there's a link below the video, use the code LOVE, L-U-V, L-U-V, and you'll get $5 off. Thanks so much for um, being here today, and I hope you enjoyed today's little walk through the weekend. Okay, so I posted the before photo, or I shared it with you just before this, and this is all of the crap out of that cabinet. There's stuff everywhere, 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 all over there, and all over here, and all over here, <laughs> but they are now empty and I would love to tell you that this is all like inspired by that home edit show but I have to admit that I actually was inspired by a sweet lady on Instagram the 30 day reset and so she's taking me through like so look how gross that is okay so let me explain this before you're completely horrified this was all here all this staining was all here when we moved in i don't know if that helps the horrification or not but it's from um like jams and jellies and stuff and you cannot scrub it off so in a couple years time all of this is going to be torn out and redone anyway so i'm not going to invest a bunch of time and money painting these and trying to make this look like I would want it to look because we are going to completely redo this space. So ultimately my goal today is to clean all this up, organize it, get it into whatever makes sense, get it back in the cabinet and probably purge a few things. Although honestly, there's not a ton here to purge. Um, I've got a ton of baking stuff. Some of this is my daughter's. So I'm going to dedicate an entire shelf or maybe even a shelf and a half to baking supplies. Like all of this, this is all baking stuff. And most of this she got for her birthday. Um, we have a lot of entertaining stuff. I have stuff for the holidays. I'm going to probably put this out in my shed. I have a nice cabinet out in my shed that's closed. So I could store holiday stuff out there so it's not taking up space in the house. 
we just have a really small house. We don't have tons of storage. So I'm trying to make things work. But I wanna go get some baskets or something to put this kind of stuff in. Like, you know, I have a whole bunch of random silverware and napkins and cups and stuff like that. So I know that that stuff could be organized better. So that's, and like I found these trash bags uh, today in the cabinets, didn't even know we had them. So those will go out to the shed. You can see Truvy's tore up soccer ball there. Um, oh look, we even have stuff over here on our little coffee station that I have stacked. I use these all the time when we entertain. I use them for chips. They're the perfect chip bowl. So these will stay in the house. Um, so yeah, this is, this is my Sunday. One more thing before I go any further. Measuring tape, pen, paper. I have measured all of the cabinets so that I know how wide and how tall they are. I'm going to take this with me when I go look for baskets because, um, yeah, I'm going to need to know so that I don't end up buying stuff, bringing it home, and it doesn't work. All right, I've just returned from uh, Target. I almost said Costco. Target, and here's what I ended up with. I got several of these baskets that are fairly deep, I mean lengthwise, and then I got a few that are like deeper heightwise, but shorter, and then I got a bunch of these, and I got a couple of turntables, a shoe rack for my kid, some baby clothes for a friend of ours who's having a baby, and some other random odds and ends. I needed some con to go containers. Um, I like being able to take uh, food to some elderly neighbors and family members. Um, I got some of these containers that I thought might come in handy, like organizing inside some of the other baskets. Got some face masks because my husband struggles wearing anyone anything but these and he was out. Um, some paper bowls. That's it. Okay, so my biggest dilemma at the moment is how I'm going to label these. So I think what I'm going to do is go into my craft room and come up with a solution for these. Um, they do, they're obviously, I love them but they are not going to be conducive to like sticking a label on here. So I'm gonna have to be creative and come up with something. Luckily, that's my jam. So let's go do that now. Turby, is that my jam? Do I create the things? Huh, what are you doing lady? Are you a friend? Yep, everybody's friend. Here we are in the craft space. So I brought both of these down here because I wanna be able to label them both. And the other size I have, I know if it will fit on these two, it will fit on that one. So I'm gonna go with a black label and white writing, I think, because I think that a black label will look nice on both of these. Um, I was gonna go with white, but I don't think white will look as nice on this. So, we're gonna go over here, and this is where I have to figure out what, let's just skip to the shapes. Um, ooh, ooh, these might be good. Let's pull those out. These are the nested labels. Um, this one might be good. This one, these might be good. Let's pull these out. I feel like there's potential here too. Okay, this is this is gonna get overwhelming because there's so many options. The thing is, whatever I do, I want it to be big enough that I could fit any word on it. But narrow enough that it is going to fit 
I was seeing if any of those words would work, but I want everything to be the same. So yeah, I think, I think this gives us enough options just between these two. So I think I'm going to go, well, we're going to hold them up and then I'm going to have to pick out some letters, maybe possibly letters. It's going to either have to be letters or I'm going to have to hand write. And that makes me nervous. So we'll see. Okay. Okay. Here's what we call making it work, people. I've got my little black labels. I ended up going with the Hippo and Friends. And it's like the second largest one. And I tried writing. I tested write a little bit with a gel marker or pen. I don't like it. So... I'm gonna use my label maker and I'm printing out labels and I'm gonna put them on the black labels. <laughs> I'm putting labels on the labels. So uh, I think the best way to do this is just gonna be to trim them. If I had white decals or if I had, I just don't feel like getting out, I could paint them, I could paint the, the words but I really don't feel like doing that and so this is where we're at um this is like my husband's stuff for work so I'm gonna get his stuff labeled first so we've got chips that's a oh fiddles it's not gonna matter Somebody else would freak out at having it tore right there, but no one will ever know it. And then we're going to do bars. This is like granola bars, protein bars, stuff like that. He likes to have those in his lunch. Okay, these are not very forgiving, by the way. And then we have nuts and snacks. And that will be like dried fruit, nuts, whatever other thing does not fit into the other two categories, basically. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to, on these white baskets, this is where the bars will go. So I think what I'm gonna do, uh, this you're not gonna be able to see this very well, is I'm gonna punch, actually, I'm feeling like these will adhere straight to the plastic baskets with no problem if I use stamp and seal. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use stamp and seal plus to adhere these. And I'm going to be a very generous with it. And this is just for the ones that are gonna go on the plastic baskets. So let's do that and see how it looks. Oh, it looks good. And I think it's going to stay. Yeah, I mean, if I were to pull it, it would come off. But I think it's going to be okay. So I'm going to go with that for now. And then on these baskets, I think I'm going to maybe run punch holes on each end. Run this thread through it. This is the patterned pets or pampered pets twine. <clears throat> I'm going to run it through here and then I'm going to tie a bow behind it. So you'll never even really see this much of the thread, but it'll attach it to the basket firmly. So I'm going to do these and then I will show you guys the finished product. All right. I'm going to do a progress check here. So here's how it's looking so far. I put quite, what do you call that? Like shelf paper down. It's not shelf paper though. It's this like rubbery stuff. So stuff doesn't slide. I only did it on these three shelves. I'm not doing it up there because honestly I can't see the top of them. <laughs> so it doesn't bother me. So this is all baking supplies. I want this all down low where my daughter can get to it. Up here I put my husband's snacks. So those are like bars for work, chips, nuts and snacks. This is kind of a placeholder. I don't know if I'll even use it for anything. Up here, 
I have the fryer, roasting pan, thermos, paella pan, zucchini, zoodler thing. These are all things at the very top shelf I personally almost never use. Um, my husband does all the frying when we do like a fish fry, so he would get that down and he's 6'5". So my plan with this is to put anything up super high that I don't access and I can reach that and I do use that. So um, yeah, we're making progress, but this makes me so happy. Look, sprinkles, yay. Okay, next up, I'm kind of using my stove top as my organization station because I literally have like no room anywhere. So my next thing is napkins, cups, silverware, like plasticware for entertaining purposes. So I'm going to work on organizing that and getting that put away next. Okay, guys, uh, I want to apologize ahead for the lighting because now it's six o'clock at night. So I don't have the pretty sun like I did, but I'm finished. So I've got the fryer, the thermos, paella roast and roasting pan, zucchini noodle maker. These are, um, that's a bread basket and that is a like charcuterie tray. Husband's snacks, husband's snacks. This is food storage, like little bowls, Pyrex bowls with lids. Um, I use these very frequently, so I'm keeping them in the house. This is just a salad or um, pasta bowl with four matching bowls. This is my bread bag from Italy. This is just bowls. I like to put chips in or whatever. And then I kept one platter in the house. And then behind that is pistachio holders. Um, and then I've got my to-go bin. So this is for like when people come over and there's leftovers and I send stuff home with people. So that is a frequent item. These are appetizer bowls for things like um, pickles, relishes, <laughs> salsas, you know, that kind of stuff. This is cups and straws, pretty self-explanatory cups and straws. Um, this is my serving container for silverware. I use this every single time we have people over, so I want it handy. These are all my paper, party paper goods. So napkins, some random plates and bowls, extra plastic ware. Then we have baking. So these are like cake tower or cake things that you, where you can spin it to decorate. Tart pan, spring form pan, 12 inch baking pan. These are all of our cookie cutters. We have a lot of cookie cutters, but now they're all in one place and they're labeled and it's beautiful. Uh, sprinkles, which makes me really happy. This is decorationing, decorationing, that's not a word. It's decorating tools, icing color. This is baking. So this is just like um, cupcake holders, cake, what do you call these? See, I don't even know what all this is called. These are like doilies, cupcake holders, just different stuff like that that you need when you're baking and giving it away. And then finally, this is outdoor dining and there's room to expand, but these are like little nets we put over stuff as we're cooking out. And I've got my table weights in there, some hickory mesquite wood chips. This is the bag that's like the insulated bag. This is what I take on the boat with me. I like to keep it handy. And that's it. That's everything. Okay, one of the things I didn't show that I feel like I have to do in full disclosure is the whole organization thing looks really awesome. But here's the thing. Half of the stuff that was in those cabinets is no longer in them. So this is like a full disclosure moment. <laughs> I didn't want to leave you thinking that I had purged a bunch of stuff. I couldn't. So this shelf is Thanksgiving and Halloween. And like, this was my grandma's. I'm not gonna get rid of this, but do I use it that often? No, not unless I'm entertaining. Um, I've got some other like entertaining stuff up here. Same, this was my grandmother's. 
And then this is all my Christmas entertaining stuff. And then over here, I had these in that big cabinet in the house. Why? I don't need them there, but I put them here for back stock. And again, something for entertaining. You, um, They're kind of like chafing dishes. You can light the candle underneath to keep them warm. These I may get rid of. Honestly, I hardly ever use them. And they're really shallow and they're cute. But uh, I just, I don't know. I, I like them so much I have a hard time letting them go. But I honestly have only used them once or twice. There's a, a cake transporter here, which I've used probably twice my whole life. And then I still have random organizational stuff sitting over here. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't really like it. I think I got it from the dollar store. Um, I was probably doing something themed. Anyway, I still have a few more items in the house that need to come out here. But I wanted to give you this perspective because I wanted you, I don't, I really hate when somebody does like an organizational video or something and they make it look all perfect and pretty and you're like, how did all that stuff fit in that space? Because usually it doesn't. You either have to purge or you have to make some decisions. So this is our shed, but as you can see, these are closed cabinets. I kind of suffered with feeling like if this was okay or not to put these dishes out here but I'm going to bring them in the house when I need them and wash them and they'll be fine so yeah so there's that and then over here yeah more stuff that I purged this was my mother's she gave it to me just recently so I want that these were my grandmother's um they're really pretty I love them. They're basic and simple. These are cake stands, obviously, and then more cake stands. But I don't need all of those in the house all of the time. So all this stuff got moved out here, and now I'm just praying to God that I remember it. And then this is a little update on organizing out here. We have created a space to have some back stock of items that... We don't want to ever run out of again. When the pandemic hit, we ran out of stuff. And um, I'm not a big bleach girl. I actually don't really use bleach in the house very often. But I think it's good to have on hand just because. And then, um, you know, garbage bags, plastic bags, which I'm working. I think that I might be converting to reusable plastic bags. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted on that. And then I've got paper towels and bath tissue. And no, we didn't go out and crazy hoard this stuff. Like each time we go to Costco, we grab one and we've thrown it on the shelf. And now we've got it so that if another situation occurs and it, we run out, we've got something here. Um, so yeah. And then this space right here has been cleared out for a deep freeze. So we're going to buy half a cow and we are going to have a deep freezer right here and that way we'll have meat on hand that is um, sourced from somebody we know because we live in the country. We know lots of people that have cattle, raise cattle. Okay, that's the update on everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.